I'm like overexcited just because the sun's out and that's what you come here to Australia for, to really have good weather and hopefully a good competition. I think it means a lot more actually just because obviously being Great Britain we was all one and now we've been separated there's like a big rival between us um, like Scotland and Ireland and everyone and it's weird to feel like oh god who's in this team who isn't in this team but now that we've all been separated we know who's who it's like that good like okay we're English and we're gonna <laughs> put on a good fight and not just only <laughs> say that they're our only competition but I feel like it's a good um, thrill that we have between the, the camps to say that we want to try and beat each other. My family follow me everywhere. Literally, I feel they just used me just mainly for a holiday. And the fact they haven't been to Australia before, so this is like, okay, forget everything else. I'm going to stop what they're doing and come out to come see me, which is nice. I've got my mum, my two aunts, well, actually more a third, like a family friend, and my first ever coach and his wife have come out. It'd be amazing just because Jerusalem, to hear any kind of anthem on a podium means the most to every athlete. That's probably the best song they ever want to hear. Like, yeah, you've got your playlist and stuff, but when you're on the podium, that's the song you want to hear. You don't want to hear anybody else's anthem, you want to hear your own. And I feel that means so much. So to know that Jasmine sang it, it's going to, it's going to touch all our hearts.